Hello, hello everyone. So it's decision time for me, and by decision time I mean making decisions that aren't really a big deal, but I might as well make them seem like a big deal because because that's wonderful, I guess. Uh, let's go ahead and... Um... So I was reading and I was talking to various random people, and it seems 130 stones are the way to go in terms of enchanting. And I figured, you know, like, there's nothing else I need to spend money on besides enchanting at this point. So it's not a big loss if I don't succeed. And if you're still not sure what I'm talking about, I'm going to try enchanting my weapon a little more with 130 stones. If it fails, then, you know, it's RNG. Nothing we can do about it, but... Total number 14, total number is now 13. That's not lucky at all. Uh, I'm just curious, how many supplements does it take to do this? 470, wow. Okay, well on that note, I think we're just going to go ahead and hit the enchant button. And hope for the best. And if it doesn't work again, not the biggest deal in the world, but, you know. Yeah, it failed. Hmm, do I go again? You know, I should try though. One tens of my armor piece. <laughs> it's like we get to see me fail a bunch. There's nothing exciting about that. Okay, there's one plus one. I actually don't know how much better 110s are than 100s. I'm assuming they're, like, decently better, though. Okay, there's two. Now for the big wham-bam-shabam. Will I finally get something maxed enchanted? And the answer is... Yes! Okay, cool. So I have a plus 13 piece. That's awesome. I guess 110s are the way to go in terms of armor. So even though I lost two enchants on my weapon, I made progress on my armor. That's good enough for me. It's like, I also realized that I am, um, what was the word I was going to use? I don't know. Actually, should I use the 100s? I don't know if I should be using 110s. It's something that's not a 10. I mean, I might as well. So that was nice. I just upped the level of enchantments for things that I'm using. It's pretty much what I'm doing. If I can get these two pieces plus 13, that's like awesome. But if not, then it's not the biggest deal in the world. I'm just going to keep throwing them in, though. Because I have the stones, and, you know, there's no other use for them. Actually, you know, I should mention, um, I got ten of these from my invent earlier today, which is nice. If another one fails, though, I'm going to use lower stones. Okay. <laughs> it's like we've reached the same level again. These poor stones, they're actually not worth too much right now, so it's not the biggest deal in the world to me if they're failing a bunch like they are right now. It's like, yeah. If it goes to 8, though, I might have to use lower stones. I think I shall. Should I use 106 and 108? Yeah, might as well. Am I actually going to show this entire enchantment process? Oh my god. <laughs> I'm so sorry. This is what people with lots of bikini tend to do. Okay, this is going to be the third time. If I actually get to 11, I might stop. If I don't, then I'll just get it back to 10 and then wait. Eh, I don't know. <laughs> it's like I might stop, but then I keep going anyway, because... <laughs> Alright, here we go. Moment of truth, number two. Can I do it a second time in a row? We're about to find out. And... Yeah, okay, so I've got two pieces plus 13 now. Yay, the crowd goes wild. That's awesome. So even though I failed a bunch of my weapon, you know, sad face, I at least got my uh, armor pieces up to 13 each. So I think we learned the moral of that story, which is basically that you should use higher stones than I was using previously. So the biggest change, of course, is strike resist. Now I have 60 from my chest and 45 from my pants. So I have 536 strike resist, which is awesome. And, uh, wow, that's a lot of video just for enchanting. Maybe I'll go try to do some arenas for now, because I don't really feel like doing anything else. Maybe I'll go PvP, but I'll skip to that, so we'll be right back. There's actually one more thing I need to think about. I am considering doing something like buying a 6% 1 st second stun god stone. And I know it's not exactly better than the paralyze, because obviously paralyze equals instant win, but... I'm really curious as to how well this would work out, because they're cheap right now, and... I mean, blind godstones that are gold are like 70 mil, so... 
I don't know. It's a it's a funny decision for me. I might do it just for the hell of having it because I honestly try not to rely on godstones too much. So, you know what? For everyone's sake, I'm going to buy this and I'm going to put it in my weapon. This is for science. Everything I do is for science, actually. I know some people are going to be thinking, well, Chanus can already stun a lot, right? Why would you use a stun godstone? That could potentially override a stun. And my response to that is basically, the more chances you have to stun, the better, because there's no such thing as a guaranteed stun. Even the things that say they stun when they hit, like parrying strike, you might still get resisted on your stun if they have enough magic resist or things like unwavering devotion. I guess unwavering devotion would be the biggest counter to this godstone because, you know. Actually, I don't know. Would this go through Unwaving Devotion? I have no idea. Like, that is completely unknown to me. And I know Paralyze is instant win, etc. But, again, I try not to rely too much on, like, my godstone doing everything for me. So, there we go. What's the effect for this? I can't see anything because... Uh, wait. I'm trying to see... Oh, the skulls. That's actually pretty cool. Alright, well, that was totally worth it then, if not for nothing else. Let me see if I can get any decent arenas. I think they're open right now. Yes. Smack dab in the middle of the night. Fine Monday. As we waltz through the streets of Pandemonium, run by our recently remodeled friend. It's time to go do some arenas. I'm cutting in the day after <laughs> the enchanting ordeal because... Besides from one encounter, really, there wasn't much I did or could find for PvP. So instead, we will use tomorrow, or, well, tomorrow's today, as the stepping stone for recording and hope that it goes well. Or at least better. And what can go better than getting a Spirit Master in the 1v1 arena? I still don't get to do Chaos because I... I don't know. I have this strong inclination against Chaos, it just makes me go, ugh. Oh yeah, swap to my special helmet to get more spell resist. So what's basically going to happen is I'm going to get uh, stripped. I might get feared, I don't know. It's always a toss-up when it comes to SMs. Okay, well he just tossed Shackled to me. Oh, and he got hit by the Tog. Now he's gonna move shock heal me, I bet. Yes. Okay, well I can't remove that body room. No the mob stun, but I think he's gonna die anyway. I hate these mobs. Okay, so that was a good start. Should I use a spell resist scroll? I'm inclined not to because it's the arena and he's a spear master and you know what they do. Your target is too far away. I'm just gonna pop. Uh... Oh, look at that. Stun got some. Go, go! I actually have no idea if he's removed shock up. Oh, I resisted Chain of Earth somehow. See, I love it when SMs do that thing where they heal themselves. Because that actually helps me a lot since they don't have a move shock and I can just follow it up with something. Oh my god, these mobs. Okay, silence <laughs> and stun. Oh, look at those debuffs. Okay, uh, we need to get rid of Shackle. Not sure how I'm gonna do that though. There we go. Silence. Well, <laughs> he's getting stunned a bunch by the mobs. That helps me. A considerable amount. Oh, just out of range of parrying. Yeah, 
You know, these pets should not be on, man. <laughs> That's like one thing you should never let happen as a spinmaster. It's like your pet to go wild. Oh, this one's gonna be close. But he's not using fear in me, so I commemorate him for doing that. Is it commemorate the right word? It probably isn't. Okay, well, I need to heal myself. That's better. Crit scroll. Crit scroll is the worst, because these 9 minute scrolls are not too bad. But, uh, Okay, so does charging a Spear Master sound like a bad idea? I think it is. But I might have to do it. Um. Okay, cool. I'm right the momentum of that's done. He's gonna remove Shock eventually. Unless he doesn't have it. Okay. Now the ever so slow process of chasing him. You can sense me all you want, but I don't need to be healed, so. Actually, I don't know why I clicked retribution. I think if I just hit the remove shot button again, even if it's the second remove shot because they're not the same button, I'd still use retribution by default. I'm gonna have to test that because I'm not 100 percent sure, but I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Uh this is a bad spawn. Let's go in here. He doesn't want to come to me, but he probably should. Wow. Oh, <laughs> well, that was the definition of perfect lockup if I ever saw one. Poor guy. Well, that was just RNG ma'am heaven, more or less. Cast speed. Oops. Oh god, I thought I fell. That was scary. I'm gonna wait over here and use mana treatment. Alright, let's see what you can do. With no remove shock, I don't know. Oh, I can't pause that. So we're gonna have to let that tick. Oh, it's probably gonna live. Yeah, he doesn't attack me. He's gonna be just fine. Oh, I should have used the normal pawn. Oh, thank God, it's not the flight map. I'm still rooted. Uh, I'm just gonna let that tick because it's not worth using a pot for. Well, that was a nice bug. If I was him, I would use Spirits of at this point, because it's like uh, he has the potential to lose if I kill him one more time, I think. Yeah, attacking to my protective ward. That's exactly what I want. My god. Oh, tab fail. <laughs> wow, for a second there I was gonna be like, oh god. Well, for the first PvP encounter of the day, that was pretty entertaining. 
I get to do one more arena though, so let's see what the next matchup is in a bit. Uh, it can attack me, but it's not going to do anything. I have to wait. There we go. God, the interrupts from that stun are great. Look at that, it's just like stun randomly. Screw weaving on the flight map. <laughs> oh god. Okay, I don't need to heal myself. Such a troll godstone. As opposed to the other godstones, which were like killing godstones. Oh, he popped his three minute cooldowns. So obviously, the one response I should give is my three minute cooldown. I'll even pop protective ward. Let's just copy everything he's doing. Except I have more HP, so it kind of favors me a little bit to copy him. <laughs> he switched weapons, I think. Oh, well, he's surviving a lot better after that initial <laughs> encounter. Let's even use Focus Parry. They're not Focus Parry, Confident. Defense, is that what it's called? It's like, I don't even use stamina restoration for the mana regen because it. I want to save it before I need more HP, but it's not looking like I need to do that. You are stunned. No. Yeah, fight map, nobody should die, theoretically. <laughs> and, oh, I guess I need to re-scroll myself. That'd be a wonderful idea, I should do that. There we go. Well, that helps my damage to have 120 more crit strike. I'm not gonna die then. Alright, it's time to take another big risk because I realize now that I don't really need to spend my keen on anything other than just improving my gear, at least for a while. So what I'm going to do is visit this lovely guy's store and we're going to see that his 130 stones actually cost 13 mil. That's not too bad. There was someone for 12 mil on the broker earlier, but they got bought out before I could react. So <laughs> we're going to cross our fingers and hope that I can plus 13 this weapon using a bunch of 130 stones. Oh, I'm not 13, 14, excuse me. So I need 4 at the minimum, right? Assuming they all go in. Let's see, how much does it cost to buy 3? So 38 mil, so that's like... Yeah, that's a pretty decent uh, price. Assuming the first one goes in, of course. Ah. Uh, oh gosh, this is going to be so painful if it doesn't work. So I'm thinking that I just throw the 130 in straight away. But I'm also thinking that maybe it's better to use like a 120 at first. I'm not entirely sure. As you can tell, there's uncertainty in my voice. Hmm, decisions, decisions, decisions. Alright, well, let's try with the 130 first. I'm just going to throw this in, and let's hope that it goes to plus 11. Okay, it goes plus 1. So I'm going to throw another one in. I don't see, like, plus 2s or plus 3s that often on Mythics. Okay, that one failed, so I'm going to try another one. I might have to buy more of his stones. If it goes to 9, I'm going to use 110s or 120s, probably. Yeah, let's try a 120 stone. Should I try another 120? I'm kind of tempted to do that. Okay, so let's see how far I can get with this 130. So now we're at plus 12 again. 
So I'm gonna go back to his store. I'm gonna buy another 130 stone. Maybe I should buy two, I'm not sure. Yeah, might as well buy two. We're gonna run all the way back here to the corner because... Or, I mean, like, more like away from everyone else. Because we don't want to be staying next to everyone when we're enchanting, that's for sure. Alright, so... Let's go, go 13 and hope for the best. Alright, moment of truth, guys. And the verdict is... Sweet, so I'm plus 14 now on my weapon, so I max stats on every or my chest, my weapon, and my pants. That's awesome. Okay, I'm happy. That's good. So, <laughs> I didn't get the 15, I know that, but still. Well, I can't get the 15 because it's plus 14 max, but yay, max that weapon, yay! So the moral of the story is, 130s are great. Yeah. This video is pretty much going to be enchanting in arenas, if I can... Yeah, it's pretty much that, but it's good enough. So yay, I'm happy, yay! Because my Kina is well spent. As you can see, plus 14, plus 13, plus 13. And then my other pieces are plus 10, but... You know, I'm only getting 6 strike resist if I go 13 with these, so it's not a big deal to me. Anyway, uh, that should be it for now. So unless I do coordinate anything else, take care, everyone. And oh yeah.